name is Nafo Moebao Soliai. Uh, I was born in July 21, 1964. Um, I'm a U.S. national, which is uh, American Samoa. It's the, or I was raised in Fangasa, in American Samoa, and we came to Hawaii in 1969. Uh, our status was my dad was uh, a high chief in Fangasa and he was also the vice principal at uh, uh, elementary. Um, the Samoan culture was mostly um, you have been that you you raise crops, you raise um, you know uh, pigs and chicken. And when there's a problem, you can always go get the resource from your land. American lifestyle is very tough as an outsider, as a foreigner, because um, you have your obstacle with language, you have obstacle with different culture, I mean, not the American culture. Um, you know, the American culture is always about, uh, you know, make sure you pay your bills, you have a roof over your head, taking care of your family by making sure you, you feed them. Um, hopefully get a, um, a good education for your kids. Uh, we lived in, um, uh, it's, it's a housing. It's like, I guess over here they call it uh, the projects. But it, it was we really uh, very proud to live in the housing because we took pride in taking care of our, our landscape. Uh, taking care of the uh, neighborhood, um, so we took pride in uh, in our housing, even though they were uh, low income. Um, growing up with all different cultures, um, all ge first generation growing up, uh, my family values and their beliefs. I remember in in Hawaii just gathering um, food and you know and going out with my friends and sharing food that was one of the big mark of being together and I went experiencing high school uh, going with um, in class where there's Caucasian and African-American kids and Latino kids I, that was my first experience in uh, Oceanside and we also experienced uh, a rally there was a KKK rally. I didn't know what was a KKK stand for. And they told us that they hated minority people. And they had dogs and they had the police riot. And that was my first experience about just hating another culture or other people not knowing them. I think a lot of people assume since you're a big person that um, you're you play football or you play some kind of a uh, heavy sport. Um, my accent gives it away and you know, I'm not from around here and just pronouncing my name is kind of difficult for a lot of people. Um, I remember um, at Sacramento City College, um, one of the professor, they had to um, roll call and he couldn't pronounce my name. And he tried to pronounce, then he started spelling out my name. And it felt kind of low, but it was it was funny first. But when I grew up, it was it wasn't funny. Um, just my language. They think you're not a hard worker or uh, smart enough. I met my wife in 1983 on a blind date, set up by a friend, a good friend of mine. Um, our first date, uh, we went to a, a football banquet, which is my banquet. No communication because I was intimidated um, trying to speak proper English. Um, I had a strong accent, and when I did speak, my wife thought I was speaking a foreign language. Oh, then was my girlfriend. She was my girlfriend then, and she had a ball trying to understand what kind of foreign language that I was speaking. We have two beautiful girls. Uh, the older one is J Samantha and the younger one is Jessica uh, and then we also adopted Anthony so he's the oldest uh, the values and tradition that I want to pass down to my kids is the Fasa Moway it's you know religions first um, and 
listening to the elderly because one day they'll become elder. Um, be very respectful um, and be good people to the community and their, uh, their family. Example, um, for funerals, we always have to come up with so much money because in our culture, don't believe in getting insurance. So a lot of things are reliable, we rely on our generation to provide money to pay for the, the funeral, pay for food. But in American culture, you have insurance that they take care of that. Um, so there's a lot of financial responsibility as a Samoan culture that a lot of our culture get mixed up, but I think I got it pretty much down hand. I mean, figured out, you know, and it's tough, you know, when I was growing up and trying to figure that out because you have different roles that I didn't understand. So, but I've kind of figured it out. Uh, the advice I will give them is to uh, to understand and know the American culture um, and understand and know their um, the Samoan culture too and try not to have one over the other they both are the same um, and communicate to your loved one or the, the one who's, who's who you care about, about how you going through uh, different, uh, difficult about the culture. So yeah, just understand the two different roles. That's it.